NASA's Perseverance Mars rover has now collected two rock samples with signs that they were in contact with water for a long period of time, boosting the case for ancient life on the red planet. The project scientist for the mission, Ken Farley, stated that the rocks revealed a potentially habitable, sustained environment. Perseverance rover collected its first sample named Mont Denier on September 6th and its second Montagnac from the same rock on September 8th. Both samples, slightly wider than a pencil in diameter and about 6 cm long, are now stored in sealed tubes in the rover's interior. The first attempt at collecting a sample in early August failed after the rock proved too crumbly to withstand Perseverance's drill. The rover has been operating in a region known as the Jezero Crater, just north of the equator and home to a lake 3.5 billion years ago, when conditions on Mars were much warmer and wetter than today. The rock that provided the first samples was found to be basaltic in composition, which is a kind of igneous rock and likely the product of lava flows. Volcanic rocks contain crystalline minerals that are helpful in radiometric dating, which is a process of calculating age in years for geologic materials. This in turn could help scientists build up a picture of the area's geological history, such as when the crater was formed, when the lake appeared and disappeared and how climate changed over time. The scientists already knew the crater was home to a lake but couldn't rule out the possibility that it had been filling up the crater for just about 50 years. Now they are more certain groundwater was present for much longer. NASA scientist Katie Stack Morgan said if those rocks experienced water for long periods of time, there might be habitable niches within them that could have supported ancient microbial life. The salt minerals in the rock cores may have trapped tiny bubbles of ancient Martian water as well. NASA is hoping to return the samples to Earth for an in-depth lab analysis in a joint mission with the European Space Agency sometime in the 2030s. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.